I'm sure by now you know that you can use the new back tap feature on iPhone to perform default actions such as double tap for screenshot and triple tap to shake. But did you know that by using iOS 14's native shortcut app, you can program your iPhone's back taps, both double tap and triple tap, to perform custom actions. If you have an iPhone 8 or later and are running at least iOS 14, you can easily program this via the shortcuts app feature. It will save you time once set up. In fact, I'm gonna show you how you can go from phone in pocket to recording video in under two seconds so you don't miss that crucial moment. You'll be the fastest camera in the West. Let's begin. The Shortcuts app is a great way to start your automation journey with your iPhone. You'll need at least iOS 13.1 to use Shortcuts. If you're new to Shortcuts, I highly recommend you open up the app and play around with the below shortcuts, including reading through the what is a shortcut item. Click to activate it. Also click these three dots to see how a shortcut is customized. It's also worth having a quick browse of the shortcuts provided. And to help you get your head around using shortcuts, go ahead and click these three dots inside any shortcut and then pressing the shortcuts help button. Lots of great getting started info in here. Let's just go back. Feel free to have a poke around with some of the shortcuts to see what possibilities there are. Now to combine shortcuts here with back tap, you also need to know how to set up back tap. And a bit later, I'll give you a quick refresh on this. For now though, let's focus on the shortcuts app. And I'm gonna create two shortcuts. The first to take a selfie and the second to take a video. The reason I find these two shortcuts helpful is often when I'm on the run and wanna record something very quickly on video before the moment's completely gone, say a Lamborghini drives by and you wanna get a shot of it or a cat is about to do something funny, you wanna be recording video within one second to capture that moment and not miss it. Now, with the phone in pocket circumstances, that means you go to pull the phone out, press and hold the camera icon, press video, and then press the video record button. Even if you're quick, that's a minimum of two to three seconds before you actually hit record. Whereas the triple tap happens very quickly and you're recording straight away. You'll need the phone unlocked for the back tap shortcut to work though. But the other cool thing here is that while you're performing the triple back tap, the phone is actually registering Face ID at the same time, so you don't lose any moments there. So it all happens very fast, and you can literally be recording in under one second. Then with the selfie, again, you have to press a number of buttons to bring up selfie mode before you can take the photo. So this shortcut doubled with back tap is a quick way to get it going. Also, when you activate and take selfies via the shortcut, you're not left with several unwanted photos in your camera roll that you'll have to go and sort and delete later because it only keeps the photo you're actually happy with when you use it via shortcuts. Okay, let's start afresh and create these shortcuts and assign them from scratch. So start by going into the shortcuts app, then select plus to add a new shortcut, search for the camera app, and then you have two options here, either take photo or take video. Before we move ahead, we'll just click this info button to see what it's telling us. Uh, Okay, uses a camera to take photos, roger that. Uh, result, photo from the camera. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so, choose take photo, then you wanna choose the front camera because we wanna take a selfie. But you could also choose the back camera here or even get it to prompt you each time you activated the shortcut if you wanna have that flexibility. When you choose show camera preview, this means you'll be able to preview before you actually take the photo which is probably what you want. It's not often you want to take a quick fire selfie without first checking your pose, huh? If you do want to take a quick fire selfie, unfortunately, shortcuts coupled with back tap won't work, but it will work with just a regular shortcut. I'm not sure why this is the case, but we'll just move on. So we'll leave it selected. Then you can choose multiple photos, say two or three, but that means you'll have to take all three photos before the session finishes and it saves. So I just leave it at one, considering you can just retake anyway. Next, we'll set up the action to save to camera roll, or else the photo will just get taken and then disappear, we don't want that. So to do that, choose new shortcut, click X here to get rid of the camera ones, then go up and search for save. Then choose save to photo album. At this point, anytime you set up a shortcut like this, you can just hit the play button in the bottom right corner to see how the script behaves. So let's just hit the play button there. And you can see it's here, it's asking for me to take a selfie, which is what we want. So that confirms it's working. 
I won't take a photo for now, I'll wait until we've assigned it to the back tap gesture. Okay, come out of there by pressing the cancel button. That script is complete, so go ahead and click next, then just give it a name, say, take selfie, and click done. Now we'll set up the take video shortcut. So add shortcut, search for camera, select take video, and we'll stick with the default back camera here. Again, if you want a forward facing video, select front, or if you want to have it prompt you once again for front or back, go ahead and do that. This time when you select see more, you can choose your video quality, so probably go with high here. Then you can also set it to start recording either immediately or on tap. But we're gonna go for speed here, so go with immediately. Again, load up the action of saving video to camera roll. So that script also is now complete and ready to go. Again, you could press the play button in the bottom right to preview the script to make sure it works, but we'll skip that for now. And give it the name take video. Before we move on, if you've learned something here today, then please hit that like button below, or even better, back tap that subscribe button and notification bell for more videos just like this. Also in the description below, I have linked a few iPhone specific tutorial videos that you might find helpful, such as explaining what the green and orange dots are on iPhone when you're using the camera or microphone app, and comparing all of the camera specs across the iPhone 12 range. Plus, if you're interested in seeing which teleprompter app I often use that I also recommend, watch this video right here. Okay, now that we've set up those two shortcuts, let's assign them to the back tap gestures. So first, here's a quick refresh on how to enable and use back tap on iPhone. First, go to settings, scroll down to accessibility, then touch, and then you can choose the back tap feature here. And here's where you set your shortcut for both double back tap and triple back tap. I go through all of this in my video tutorial right here on how to use back tap as a screenshot shortcut on iPhone. Now, let's assign the selfie to double back tap. Okay, at the top here, you'll see all the default actions you can assign to back tap, but our custom shortcuts are all the way down the bottom. And I'll choose take selfie here. Likewise, with the triple tap, we'll open that up, scroll down and choose take video. So now we've got both of those assigned, let's try it out real quick, eh? Okay, first we'll go with the selfie. Let's just pose there. Okay, lovely. And I'll use that. And that's the selfie done, nice and easy. And then for triple tap, here we are. It's not actually recording because I'm trying to do a screen record at the same time, but under usual circumstances, that'd go straight into a record. Watch this video next to see the world's fastest iPhone 12 Pro Max unboxing in under one minute. No shortcuts taken here, yet all the fluff is taken away. Back tap that now and I'll see you there. Okay, and then for triple tap, here we are. Why isn't that recording straight away?